Welcome to Math Tutorials. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing the square for a quadratic function where the leading coefficient a is equal to 1. Our example is the following. Complete the square to put into vertex form f of x equals x squared plus 6x minus 1. Now, because the leading coefficient here is 1 on the x squared, we can just go right to computing the so-called magic number. And that's the number that we need to complete the square here. The magic number is always b over 2 squared, where b is the coefficient of the x term. So in this case, it's 6. So this is 6 over 2 squared, which is 3 squared, which is 9. Now what that means is if we had a plus 9 here, x squared plus 6x plus 9 would be a perfect square trinomial. So what we're going to do is create that. We've got x squared plus 6x. I'm going to move the minus 1 over and just kind of leave a space in there. And then I'm going to put what I need, plus 9. But I can't just add something onto one side of an equation without making up for it. So I subtract 9 from the same side of the equation and the net effect of adding 9 and taking 9 away is nothing. I haven't really changed the value. So it's kind of like how when you take a fraction and you multiply the top and the bottom by the same number, you change what the fraction looks like, but you don't actually change its value. Now, the what I've put in parentheses here, x squared plus 6x plus 9 is going to factor as a perfect square trinomial, x plus 3 squared. And then the negative 9 and the negative 1 are going to make a negative 10. And then now we have this in vertex form. f of x equals x plus 3 quantity squared minus 10. And just as a side note, if you're wondering how we got this plus 3, then when you get this combination here, x squared plus 6x plus 9, when you get that trinomial, it's going to factor as x plus and the number is going to come from half of b. So in this case, half of 6 is 3, so that's the number that's going to go there. x plus 3, quantity squared, and then you got the minus 10. And you can check it by expanding this out, taking x plus 3 times x plus 3, subtracting 10, and you'll see that you get the original equation here back. So that is completing the square when a equals 1 on a quadratic function. 